What's up guys, what's up 12 7 here, bringing you an unboxing and review of the Nerf Rival Apollo XV 700. I purchased the blast off Amazon.com for around 30 US dollars, which goes to about 20 great British pounds. If we take a look at the box, you can see it's a fully enclosed box, so you are not able to touch the Apollo. The box is really nice and really eye-catchy. It's not filled with tons of bright colours like usual blaster boxes. It's just black with blue because it's a team blue. And the black has a nice glossy finish to it, which is really eye-catchy. Uh, when you're going through the aisles, uh, this would catch your eye immediately. So, it says up here, experience the intensity. And you're able to uh, touch one of the uh, rounds, like so, and then you've got all the other ones here. It says, ultimate accuracy. Seven high impact rounds. At the bottom it says accuracy, velocity, shoots up to 100 FPS or 30 miles an hour. And it says spring action. Got the Nerf rival here and it says precision, battling. And then of course you've got the Apollo itself and it says Apollo XV700, team blue and age is 14 and up. Uh, so this is kind of Hasbro's take on uh, competitive uh, sports such as paintball or airsoft. And then on the side we've got advertisements for the Zeus MXV 1200, it comes in blue and red, face masks, the 12 round magazine, and then refill packs. On the back it's just shown the uh, team red versus team blue, it says uh, ready indicators, trigger locks, magazine release, the magazine's in the handle which is pretty neat, uh, tactical rail, and then easy load, and then it's got the team blue, team red again, and it says Red versus blue, experience intense head-to-head -head competition with the ultimate precision and power of Nerf Rival. And of course you've got the spring action, velocity and accuracy again. But anyways, that's the box. We'll go on to unboxing it now. So what you get inside the box is the Apollo itself, the seven round magazine, the seven yellow high impact rounds or foam golf balls, and the instruction manual. The rounds load in the magazine like this, or like this, which is obviously more fun. You insert the clip into the handle, make sure you get the right way around though, and then pull this black piece here back, push it forward, and then pull the trigger the fire. And you can hear that that's pretty powerful, and then you just do the same thing for your next six shots. On to the range test of the rival Apollo, I've got the seven rounds loaded up in the magazine but first of all i'm going to say this range test will not be a hundred percent accurate um the wall at the back over there is 68 feet away so if it hits that that's pretty impressive but if it does hit it i'll say it's hit it and then you can get a rough guess of how far it went from there but anyways we'll go into the range test now That shot hit the wall there. That shot also hit the wall. Another one there hit the wall. Okay, let's go see the range. The lowest shot here is at 50 feet, which is pretty good for a low shot. The next shot is at 54 feet. The third one here is at 59 feet. This shot is at 65 feet. 
Here are the three shots that hit the wall. Of course, they didn't land perfectly like this. They, of course, bounced off it, but I've just placed them here to show you that they've hit the wall. Uh, this wall's 68 feet away from when I was standing, so you can get a rough estimate that these could have carried on to 70 or 75 feet. There are many accurate range test videos on YouTube, so go check them out. But anyways, we'll get into the review of the Rival Apollo now. On to the review of the Rival Apollo, starting with the function of the blaster. You load the seven foam rounds into the seven round magazine, like this, or like this. And then you insert uh, the magazine into the bottom of the handle, but make sure you put it the right way around. And then pull this black piece on the top back, push it forward, and then pull the trigger the fire. And then you can repeat this for your next six shots. If you want to unload the magazine without shooting them off, uh, what you can do is just pull this orange piece back and then... Which is very fun. V-Blast has a priming indicator on the back, so if you're not sure if you're primed or not, and uh, you don't want to shoot in case you are primed, uh, the indicator on the back will tell you if you're primed or not. There is a trigger lock, so if you want to store your blaster or when it's on you but you don't want to shoot and you're loaded, uh, the trigger will not pull, so you will not fire. And then just to uh, uh, unlock the trigger lock, you just push the button down and then you can pull the trigger. This is the Team Blue model, so of course the colour scheme is blue. Uh, it's exactly the same for the red one, apart from whatever's blue on here is red on the red one, of course. But, uh, of course, you've got the main blue body, red for the other one, like I just said. Uh, the black handle, black priming handle, a black rail, this is also a Picatinny rail. Uh, the trigger is orange, the nozzle is orange, and the trigger lock part here is orange as well. It's got these nice uh, arrow like zigzag designs, just on one side though. A nice large rival logo here which looks really sweet. And then on the other side, it's just plain, you've got the XV700 here. And that's pretty much all to the design of the blaster. The blaster features a Picatinny rail on the top here. It should work with airsoft sights and stuff like that. Uh, it does work with nerf sights, but they will not slide on. You've got to clip them on from the side, like so. It is a very wobbly fit and comes off with ease. The handle is very large, but it has to be large in order for the magazine to go into it. And then, if you're wondering where the magazine release is, it's on the handle here. It's black, so it's pretty disguised in, but it's in a really nice position because you can hold down and just the magazine out of much ease and um, very quickly. Here is a size comparison compared to a Strife. As you can see, it's a lot more longer than a Strife and of course a lot more bulkier. I'll show you the blaster firing. Pros and cons of the Apollo, starting with the pros. The blaster is very powerful. The handle is nice, large, and very comfortable. The mag releases very smooth and very nicely. And also inserts very smooth as well. It features a rail on the top, which is a pro and a con, because it can take attachments, but it's not a nerf rail. So, um, nerf attachments won't really work with it, but they sort of do, just not very well. That's it for the pros, now onto the cons. The blaster has a really tough prime, and if you're a smaller kid who's also weaker, um, you're going to have trouble priming this. 
The rate of fire is pretty slow, but with some practice you can get faster and faster each time. The rounds bounce everywhere, so it makes them very easy to lose. Overall, I totally recommend the Apollo. The blast has really good range, is very comfortable, and just a ton of fun. But anyways, please like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, wasup009. The link to my page is in the description. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.